Good afternoon and welcome to Real Talk with Tamara. As you guys come into the room, please do hit the like button. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I know that I am. I always express the importance of hitting the like button because the like button helps to keep the video on the algorithm, okay? So like, share, subscribe, comment, all of those great things, okay? Um, if you would like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Super Thanks or Cash App, okay? I wanted to get in a quick video. I think this is the, the first time I've blogged on this, and I know that it will more than likely be the last time. Might be the last time that I blog on this, but I, I have been quietly watching it for, for some time now, you know, um, how T.T. Naughty and um, situations uh, surrounding T.T. Naughty. Um, I remember when I first started looking at Pop Austin Media, whatever the name of it is, um, T, um, you know, I, it caught my attention, T.T. Naughty caught my attention, right? Um, he was talking about a uh, young Dolph. He seemed to have been very supportive of young Dolph. And after that, I saw uh, Pop Austin Media start to go up, right? Because mainly solely because of the personality of T.T. Naughty. And we all know that when people start rising, they become a target, right? Uh, we understand in the black community, you could be paid a, um, a pinto bean to take down another uh, black person. That coupled with jealousy, right? Uh, they, they probably wouldn't even have to give you no pinto beans. You know, just be rising to the top and you got a bunch of other people who ain't got the personality, the character or nothing, don't know how to thrive in their own lane. Um, they're just like a bunch of motherfucking hyenas in our community. Uh, they be waiting to take you down, which is why um, the black community is in the position that it's in. It ain't the white man at this point, because all they really do is have to throw us, a, uh, you know, some government cheese. And we're, we're so willing to, and they laugh at us. And it, it's almost embarrassing uh, what's going on in our community. But, you know, I digress, okay? So I watched um, T.T. Naughty, and, um, yeah, you know, I think T.T. Naughty. He spoke about how he he had his issues, but he seemed to have been um, happy to have had that opportunity. I know everything that he's done is not right. I know he's gotten charges on certain things, and um, I could have pulled it up, but I I, I don't. I did not. Um, this particular situation, I did kind of look at, and I was getting ready to pull up all the paperwork, but I said I better not do that because um, people be waiting to you know, I, I do things outside of here. Right. And so I just, I wanted to, I, I pulled up what was on the internet. Okay. Um, you know, they're saying it is alleged that there was a plot against his, um, OMZ, OTMZ. That's a young man that was on, uh, pop Austin media. Okay. He also was a personality on there. I've never, I've never looked at OTMZ, OTMZ um, show, but I do know that TTE Naughty's personality by himself has been what has built that Pop Austin situation up. I wonder if Pop Austin, Austin is white, right? Um, because it seems to me that because um, everything we have not heard TTE Naughty say anything at this point, I haven't. And so it seems to me, you know, that um, TTE Naughty is disposable at this point now that he's built up their media. Uh, um, I want to know um, the race of the people that own the media. Either way it go, it'd be garbage. You know, what they're doing, allowing, and I'm not trying to excuse anything, but I'm just saying we don't know the full story. I, I went and I looked at um, OTM Zay. And this is the young man who he and T.T.E. Naughty, even though they were on Pop Austin Media, they have been going back and forth with each other, right? But I want to read this right quick, okay? Um, it says, a plot to unalive a rapper at a show in Austin, in downtown Austin, has led to the arrest of two men, according to court paperwork, 39-year-old Don Lee Bennett, that's him. 
and um 38 year old pierre jones that's tt naughty that would be tt naughty right there um were arrested on march 10th both are each facing a dirt third degree felony charge a possession of a firearm by a felony and jones is facing an additional harassment charge which which is a class b now they did not um i don't it didn't say anything about they were being charged that's why i say it. it's kind of weird that they were being charged with plotting a murder third degree felony charges which is a fucking joke anything third degree is a joke you know like third degree murder too because it's men out on third degree murder charges on youtube that ought to be in jail okay um for unaliving women okay so in you know if it was a, a plot a murder plot because they're in texas Hold on. Conspiracy to commit murder. Let me see what that would carry. Arrest you if you believe you were entered into some type of agreement. Uh, I'm trying to see what, what penalty does that carry? Hold on. Um, it's a class, uh, the punishment for conspiracy offenses. It says it's a class A misdemeanor. I can't see that though. You plotting a murder plot i would think that would be a felony but it's saying it's a class a if he agrees okay i guess i have to a criminal attempt it wasn't a criminal attempt it was a conspiracy um okay but anyways that's not on, that's that's not on there right let me finish reading it because y'all know how deep i be getting it says both are facing third degree felony charge of possession of a firearm by a felony and that's okay so that's possession of a firearm by a felony okay and jones is facing an additional harassment charge which is a class b misdemeanor it's not even a class a so they said nothing about conspiracy to commit or conspiring to commit any unalivance or anything court paperwork says the plot was uncovered when jones who was found in possession of a handgun despite being prohibited from having one voluntarily told police that two of his associates were planning to unalive another man that night one of his associates was identified as bennett the other named in the affidavit but has not been arrested yet you know i'm hearing that the other one is allegedly a, uh, a minor. Jones told police that Bennett and the other associate were planning to attend the rap show near East 6th Street and made preparations with Jones to use his VIP access credentials for SXXW to attend, says the affidavit. According to Jones, the VIP access would attempt exempt the two men from being searched at the door and allowing them to sneak in concealed weapons. Um, Fox contacted Austin that clarified there is no such thing as VIP access credentials at SXSW and Jones couldn't have used any SXSW credentials to get into a non SXSW show. Jones said the two men wanted to unalive the performer in order to prevent him from testifying in court Bennett was allegedly going to pay Jones $450 to deliver the gun handgun to him at the concert venue. Jones also told police he believed the two men were coming to downtown Colleen, Texas, that they were armed and dangerous and had at least six firearms, including an AK. 
Police arranged for Jones to set up a meeting with Bennett, but Jones said Bennett and the third suspect would likely pop at the officers if they, if they attempted to apprehend them. Bennett was later taken down by SWAT officers at the club on East 6th Street and found with a handgun. Given he had a previous felony conviction for aggravated robbery, Bennett was arrested for unlawful possession, says the affidavit. Police also uncovered several YouTube videos featuring Jones and the intended victim outlining an ongoing dispute between the two and harsh criticisms of Bennett and Jones and their rap careers. Okay. Now, <laughs> hey, if if he was if he was part you know participating in trying to take his um co-worker out or a young man that's OTM Zay, this would be this young man, take him out, then that is a problem. And I was listening to Zay say that um I was listening to Zay say that um, supposedly um, there had been text messages. Allegedly, um, T.T. Naughty had texted him, you know, as if he was trying to get him at a location or something like that. I, you know, I, I don't know. Y'all might need to go look at it. But I'm going to tell you what's weird to me. Um, you know, Zay seems to be um OTM Zay is talking about TTO not E not he made an attempt on his life but look at him you know maybe people handle things differently you know but the only thing uh Zay is saying is um you know TT Naughty you a rat you told it you a rat you a rat First of all, they're saying that they made an attempt on his life. You would think he would be taking it more seriously than that. But the only thing that he can say is TT is a rat. So rather than if somebody's trying to, you know, uh, plot on your life, you would want that handled, right? You wouldn't be trying to put out he's a rat. I mean, when we know in the black community, black men are such damn fools now that it is more acceptable to go and 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 r-a-p-e a baby and uh kill all of a, a whole family that that's 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 hell you're held at a higher standard when you do that that's the reason why these black it's, it's something going on with these black men not all of them but a whole lot of them they embarrassing to me they relish at, uh, another black man falling right but the only thing he can say if there was an attempt on his life is T.T. not as a red. See, I told y'all he was a red. I told y'all, see, y'all were listening to him. So it seems like to me he's trying to uh, destroy his character, right? Because that's not what I would be hollering. It'd be, that's effed up. This nigga tried to take my life. You know what I mean? That's that's effed up on so many levels. Like I, I would be approaching it another way, but all he could say is he's a red. See, y'all liked him. He a rat. Y'all were going listening to him. He a rat. It seemed like it's some jealousy going on. And it's it, your life was at stake. So now you got a lot of these other black men. There's a curse on a lot of black men. That's the reason why I big up black men that are righteous. Because um, some of these stupid motherfuckers uh, is just absolutely pathetic. They be so happy when... Um, they feel like they're taking down another black man. Uh, everybody ain't got TTE not his pers uh, uh, personality. They're not going to be able to draw the crowd that he draws because they ain't got it. Some people got it. Some people don't. Uh, so I, I think where our people have lost, have gotten lost at, uh, they keep their eye on being envious of other people instead of trying to find their niche, right? Find your niche. And excel in it. Okay. So TTE Naughty has built up um Pop Austin Media. He they got to be other. They could be black, but I just believe they're other because what he did was he built up their media and now they're using that same media that he built up, right? Helping to tear it down. Now, who's to say in the background there isn't some business disputes or something going on with Pop Austin Media? Because we already know how the media is. Um when um there are some money disputes or something like that or there's some they're not going to say it 
They're just going to use cuckabug heads to tear you down, right? That's what they're going to do. They're going to use cuckabug heads to tear you down. Black people, uh, you know what? I'll give you TTE not a spot and we'll start promoting you more. Yeah, we're going to talk about this, this and that. And it still ain't going to go nowhere because if it ain't for you, you, if you ain't got it, you just don't have it, right? And by no means am I trying to um, uh, excuse TTE Naughty. He has had some questionable behavior, just like a whole lot of other these, uh, a, a whole lot of these other Negroes on here. But it's a darn shame when folks feel like ratting in the community with all of the issues that we have, such as crime, uh, taking out women and children and black men, taking them out for nothing, robbing and stealing. The worst thing you could do is tell. You know, um, they're saying that he was going to be a part of it. It do seem like it's some fishy. So, I mean, if he was a if he put, was going to play a part in taking him out, then hey, I do want to see him punished for that. But that is not what was in the charges. So it, it leads me to believe that that's something else going on because he definitely would have been charged with it. So it, some some stuff is being embellished in the media. And I, we all know how the media works. And we know these damn stupid ass cuckabug heads can be bought out for a damn cheese sandwich. Oh, is it going to be my time? No, nigga, you're going to stay on the bottom. I've been seeing how, you know, when T.T. Enotti started to rise, and T.T. Enotti should have got him some help. Because I could see what T.T. Enotti got some, just by looking at him, uh, you already know that he has some issues going on in the past. And I'm talking about as far as codependency issues, probably mixed with a lot of bad situations that has happened uh, to him that's got him messed up, right? So, I mean, he he might be dealing with that yet again, but uh, these damn nappy neck Negroes feel like this is their opportunity because whoever them folks is that's running Pop Austin Media, throwing them a damn bone and Pop Austin Media gonna fall. That's that's all, that's it. That's all. And them niggas that think they get ready to come up ain't gonna come up. And all these other damn YouTubers that work so hard to take down other black people, right? I just I think that it's a darn shame. I'm not in agreement, right, with what's going. What, what if he tried to do that to OTMZ? But it it's very suspicious to me. That all OTM Zay can say is he a rat. He didn't get on there and say this nigga, me and this nigga going back and forth, but he gonna try to plot on my life. He tried to set me up. That's effed up. He ain't dealing with that. He's kind of giggling and uh, you know people deal with stuff differently. But for him to be kind of say he a rat, I told y'all he was a rat. Y'all were listening to him. No, this sounds like to me there's been some slick jealousy, and now this is my opportunity to destroy him so I could I could take his place. It ain't gonna work out if that's how it is. It just don't seem right to me because he wasn't charged with that. He wasn't charged with it, and all that they're outlining is he'll rat, he'll rat. What about you know? I would be offended. All you can call him as a rat if it was if I was OTMZ. All you can call him as a is a rat and allegedly this nigga tried to take my life, plotting to take my life. So it just is something that don't seem right. Okay. It's just it's something that don't. Okay. It's something that don't seem right about it. But hey. So, was CTE not his set up or was he jacked up? Hey, you know, they try to take TTE not down before. It's going to be some people to reap what they sow. You, that's the reason why a lot of YouTubers that you're seeing now, they won't be around long. I feel like too many of our people build their house on sand. And that, that's the reason why I don't stay around. Uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, Pop Austin Media, the same media that he built up. I mean, they ought to be mad at whoever that is. Because I'm sure they probably played a part in pitting these two black men against each other. Because while they was going at each other, they could have put something in their contracts, in their clauses that anybody that's on this media, they can't go at each other. That's that's what I do on my network. Right. 
When I have people to come in to get TV shows on my network, it is in the clause in those contracts. Anybody on this network, you you can't, you cannot go at them like that. You you can't. So I'm sure that Pop Austin Media could have did that, but see, they don't give a damn. They build them up so that they can tear them down. I'm sure they're the main, they, uh, they are, because they could have stopped them at any time at going at each other. No, nah, bro, y'all can't do that on here. But see, it helped their numbers. It's just like the damn music industry. They be wanting these little dudes to go at each other. T.T. Enati, I knew T.T. Enati was, he wasn't strong enough to handle a lot of stuff that was going on. That's the reason why some of these bitches on here, y'all gonna see God taking a lot of them out. They gonna start having heart attacks on this motherfucker because they so sick and pathetic. Okay. Ooh, T.T. Enati said he would talk about taking this stuff out. I knew then that mentally he couldn't handle it. But they were so happy because they looking at somebody that's got a personality to go for. If we take him down, then we we gonna take him down right now because I'm a register. You dick in the booty bitches. You ain't going nowhere. So y'all can stop creating that bad karma for yourself and your family. Y'all pathetic on here. God dog. Some of these black men are embarrassing to me. It's one thing when it's a play. And we know they do a lot of plays on here. It's another thing when you are going strategically going at somebody. TTE Naughty, yeah, he was going back and forth with folks. That's what they do on here. You go back and forth and then you move on. But when I see a lot of black men teaming up on one man, it makes me look at them as a bunch of bitches. They wouldn't have teamed up on TTE Naughty if he didn't have potential. Yeah, TTE Nada got some jacked up ways, you know, but the folks on here take it too far, just like they taking down, they taking down TikTok for other reasons. But you can mark my word. It's, it's, it's the beginning of the end for YouTube or, or they're going to stop. Uh, you, you're going to stop being able to make money on here and all the Negroes are going to scatter out. But hell, they they still be on here for free. I'm famous. Some of these folks, are, are they, they're, they're able to be all they can be which is anybody else except for themselves. They could be anybody they want to be on here. Superman, um, G.I. Joe, all of these characters, they're able to play like they're that on here because it's a bunch of damn fools on meds that will follow them. It's so many damaged people that they relish at the takedown of somebody else. They do. And it's all in our community. And I believe Pop Austin Media is probably behind it. I don't know. But it that's they're, they're allowing you know, they allowed this stuff to go on and these two were on the same media and now they're using Pop Austin Media, the people, the influences that are on that attack now. Now, it would be one thing if Zay had wanted to get his story out, but the only thing Zay is saying is he a rat and laughing and stuff about it. So it's something weird about that to me, okay? But anyways, I just had to get my steam off because... You know, when you go into the top on here, it ain't nothing. It ain't nothing but a bunch of crabs on here. It ain't nothing but a batch, bunch of crabs on here. And as a black woman, it is it is extremely embarrassing to me to see a lot of what I see. That's why I be tuned in. I be tuned in to the twins. They cute and they um they 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 street dudes, but they 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 trying to promote some good stuff. They easy on the eyes. OK, but I don't see them doing all of, of this on here. What, they, what I see a lot of these damn sisters doing. OK, I, I don't see that. I don't see them trying to team up to take down other people. I see them trying to promote positivity as much as they can. There are other medias that try and do that, too. OK, I look at stuff outside of the doll situation, too. So I just I think that it is absolutely pathetic what is what is going on and that's why black men that are trying to promote positivity and building up other black men they deserve to be supported and i'm one of the ones that be sitting in the front row to support them regardless regardless whether they easy on the eyes or not 
regardless. If they promoting positivity and building up other black men and stuff, I'm going to be in a damn front row as a black woman, rooting them on, supporting them. It's too many crabs on here. Act like a bunch of damn sissies. And guess what? Their fate has already been sealed because you have to read what you saw. So it ain't the white man that's the issue in the black community. It's the black folks. It's us. We're the reason for the stagnation in our community. And it's a damn shame before God. And guess what? You know, getting TTE naughty out the way, it ain't going to help them to move up. You're going to start seeing other people fall because that karma going to hit them. It's other ways to make money. Get up out for your ass. If you got to take down other black people, then you need to get that. Ain't no better than TTE naughty, the ones talking about he a rat. It'd be different if they cared about Zay's life, if he cared about his own damn life. He don't seem to be worried about it. The only thing he hollering about, rat, rat, rat. Y'all was looking at him, he a rat. Okay, so now what you're trying to do is you're trying to put out a negativity into the atmosphere. So if he do come back, because Pop Austin Media might not be able to make it without him. So one thing they'll do is if TTE not crazy enough to go back over there and help them to make money, because I bet they paying them pennies. They're going to see how it's going to tank and they're going to turn on Zay again and they're going to want TTE not back. So he can, uh, so number one, so people can come in there by any means necessary and start taunting that TTE naughty. And then they'll forget about it and they'll get back into his personality and they're going to let Zay know it's all about money. We don't give a damn about you anyways. That's how they do it. But hey. So was TTE not as set up or is he just jacked up? I, I Hey. It might be a little bit of both because I, I, TTE not he need to get himself some help. He needs some counseling and he probably needs to detox. But I ain't going to sit up and try to ruin nobody's character talking about he a rat. If I was going to talk about anything, I would say, you know what? That show messed up. Uh, that he tried to take that boy out, but that's not what was in the paperwork. It nothing conspiracy to commit murder, no murder plots, nothing like that. So that's real strange to me. It, it seemed like to me they got third degree charges, which is a joke and a class B misdemeanor. That's crazy. If it was a plot, how come it's how come he, they weren't charged with it? I don't know. Maybe I just missed it. Okay. I could look it up, but I'm not going to. I, I was reading what they the the news people had, and they had everything that was in the affidavit. It's a bunch of crap, okay? Uh, anyways, you know, hey, that's my take on it. I want you guys to please like, share, and subscribe. If you like to support the channel, you could definitely support the channel via Cash App. 